going to sea is a wonderful feeling. It's a place we can roam freely again, hand in hand with nature, to discover what's behind that horizon. But you can have some spills as well as thrills, because the world is at its most dynamic where land and sea meet. So when at sea, wouldn't it be great if you could have a well-grounded companion by your side, providing you with additional guidance to your vessel's onboard systems? Like having an additional crew member that is steeped in local knowledge and is always on the lookout for you to help you avoid the pitfalls and smooth your way. So you have a higher level of guidance and watchfulness and empowerment at sea that enables you to sail with confidence and make the most of your time afloat. Like for instance, onboard systems are good at getting you through the water, but little else. And from seaward, the coastline hides its features. Wouldn't it be great if you could instantly envision all of the possible places you have available to you on a coastline, all in order of distance, complete with bearings? With that type of deep understanding, you are certain to get the exact coastal gem you are looking for on any given day. So you can do exactly what you might feel like after a day at sea. And by that, not just a marine overview, such as the shelter, how to best and most safely address a location, and its best berthing areas. All that in perfect detail and in a standard, consistent format for each and every haven. But much more. A depth of knowledge that can tell you each location's unique story, its history and interesting aspects, so that it is brought alive for you and you can completely take it all in. Longworth, first recorded at Doomsday 1086, derives its name from the Or, you could be looking for something specific. Say you would like a marina bird for the night, and are looking for the most convenient one. Or you could be looking for a particular kind of resource, like a fuel dock, as you unexpectedly need to top up. Or it might not even be boating related at all. Like you have kids aboard and you're looking for a nice beach to let them off. Wouldn't it be great if you had the local knowledge to be able to directly know where the specific resources you want are around you? Or even better, all of these in combination, knowing the trade-offs at the various locations. Likewise, you might want to specifically rule out situations you would prefer to avoid. Like, for instance, having to traipse a long way inland to access a location's resources. Imagine if you could just instantly know all your options. And when you find your perfect location, the contact details are under your fingertips, just awaiting a touch for you to complete the arrangement. Or you could optimize your arrangements around the current weather window. Wouldn't it be helpful if you could know the locations around you that provide shelter according to the current conditions? So you can have a comfortable day, followed by a good night's sleep. Or if you get a bad forecast, where you can go for the best shelter. And if you're unlucky enough to get caught out, it would be important to be able to refine your options down to locations that can be more safely accessed in rough conditions. Even better, imagine if your perfect companion could arrive aboard with a full set of charts for the British Isles, which is almost a thousand richly detailed charts you have access to any and all of them, as you please, for additional guidance. But unlike a large body of paper charts called raster charts when they are digitized, these have been specifically developed to work fluidly, touch and smoothly operate pinch to zoom. So when you have a destination in mind, you can have the exact chart you want right at your fingertips. These Fully detailed charts are the 
perfect companion to the primary onboard navigation systems, which are commonly based on electronic navigation charts, abbreviated to ENCs, and also known as computer vector charts. ENCs display a computer-generated representation of the original charts and have some excellent interactive properties. But they do not have all the detail of the original charts. So by having both systems, you have all the available information and the best of both worlds when exploring interesting anchorages. Likewise, if you prefer to explore the codes via the charts, you have the benefit of being able to interactively view our havens, routes and objects, which are all at your fingertips. So, you have this as an additional guidance to the onboard systems and the peace of mind of a comprehensive additional navigation system in the palm of your hand, should you need it. And all is visual and built upon a touch interface that is obvious and easy to use. Just touch the menus, long press the chart to commence the navigation, or long touch an icon for the rich information set behind. It really is made to be simple and intuitive. You can be up and running straight away. And when anchoring in locations where depths can be marginal, or strong tidal streams are present, wouldn't it be convenient to be always aware of the tide state? Especially the remaining tidal rise and fall estimations, so as to avoid winding up high and dry. Either right now or for a future planned passage during the sailing season. And when shared routes revolve around tidal streams, wouldn't it be useful to kept constantly appraised of the timings of the turning points? Of course, when underway or making your way into harbours, you have the charts and local pilot books to detail hazards. But in unfamiliar waters, or even in home waters, when distracted, tacking, or changing sail arrangements, it is easy to get disorientated, especially so in a big tidal sweep, at night, or when zoomed out in an EMC. In all these occasions, it is easy to overlook a troublesome outlier. Wouldn't it be just better if you could be told when the hard contact items are around you? I mean, like having an independent watch that is just focused on these fixed objects that will audibly tell you where the hazards are around you. Closing on Bridge Gate Rock, 140 meters away, 3 degrees on the starboard bow, 29 degrees true. And you could differentiate these notifications depending on if they are around the vessel or ahead, and set a sensible ranges depending on your location or speed. Should you miss the notification of a closing hazard, you will be progressively informed in intervals. Closing on Bridge Gate Rock, 90 meters away, one degrees on the starboard bow, 30 degrees true. Of course it would be nice to eliminate all unwanted surprises, as boating tends to throw the odd curveball, which is all part of it. And when presented with challenges, you have a world of great suggested approaches at home, somewhere in that stack of magazines in the corner, or in the books on the shelves above. Wouldn't it be so much better if you had something to turn to immediately for practical, relevant suggestions? Or should you have a spare moment, a place to browse for ideas? to make boating more comfortable and stress-free. Of course, should there be a serious incident, the ship's log becomes important, and never more so than when you need it to support an insurance claim. A detailed logbook is a matter of good practice in leisure sailing, but few of us attend to regularly recording the key core details of position, speed, bearing, and miles traveled. Wouldn't it be handy to leave the log to a diligent companion that can take care of that for you. So all you have to do is add any appropriate observation. And that record is not just in some ledger buried beneath the chart table after a passage, but something useful that could be shared 
Like with a friend who needs some key waypoints to replicate a previous passage you might have made in a challenging location. The details can easily and instantly be shared in an understandable format from your log files. Or, if it is not to hand, from the cloud, which replicates and backs up the logs for you, so that they are, are available anytime from anywhere. just think that a ship's log has to be a retrospective record. With access to a data connection, which is normally good along the coastline, your log can now be shared in real time whilst you're making a passage. And should the data connection drop out, the intervening plots are recorded and updated to the remote observers when the connection re-establishes. So you have the freedom to let people you want, those who are interested, concerned or perhaps meeting you upon arrival. Follow your progress for this and any other future voyage you want. Or, on the other hand, when you're anchored and a bit concerned about the holding ground, you could leave the main system's anchor watch on. But running the entire navigation system for an anchor watch is a large drain on scarce battery resources. Wouldn't it be great if you had your own personal companion that could keep watch for you? Even stay up all night maintaining watch, so you can have a good night's sleep. And should something happen, they can appraise you immediately where you are and without the need to go to the nav station. Or even better, if you want to go ashore and explore, or have a meal out but are uncertain of your holding, provided with a data connection so they can reach you, wouldn't it be great if you could leave your companion aboard? and rely upon them to maintain watch for you. So you have the peace of mind of reliably being kept posted on the boat's movements as and when you want. And should the vessel move outside an acceptable range, the alarm will be sounded wherever you are, on whichever online device you choose to observe from. And this has been only the briefest of introductions to Eoceanic Go. The application is a joy to use and the most powerful companion you can go to sea with. You can discover the rest by setting up an account on eoceanic.com and subscribing to Eoceanic Go. This done, simply get the application from your app store. Start it up, log in with your credentials, download the data for your sailing area, and you're ready to go. And when you subscribe to EOTANI, you do so safe in the knowledge that your subscription will be reinvested into broadening and deepening our havens, routes, and experience. And all that information will be made freely available for the common good of all on EOTANI.com. But most of all, that information will be brought to life for you where it gets real, at sea with EOTANI Go, so you can put it to its best effect going further, going with confidence, exploring the world afloat. And we're only getting started. So we invite you to join us on our journey. Just imagine how good it would be if the whole world of sailing could be seen through the Oceanic Go. Drank a pint of beer, my grief and tears this mother.